In this video, we will learn how to plug in the limits when we will be evaluating an integral. Let's start off with a simple example. Let's integrate x square between the limits 0 and 1. 0 is called the lower limit whereas the number at the top 1 that is called the upper limit. The rule is first integrate and then we plug in the limits. When we plug in the limits, this integration is known as evaluating a definite integral. So now let's integrate x square, increase the power by 1, divide by the new power. Now we will put a square bracket and these limits will appear in their respective places. The variable now becomes x cube divided by 3 between the limits 0 and 2. The rule is first plug in the upper limit, then secondly we will plug in the lower limit and there will be a negative sign between the two. So therefore x cube over 3 actually becomes 2 cube over 3. This 2 is placed in place of x. Similarly now 0 will be placed in place of x and this simplifies to 8 over 3 which can be written as a fraction 2 whole 2 third. That's how a limit is used to evaluate a definite integral. Let's look at another question. Something like if we have two brackets such as 4 minus x multiplying with x plus 2 and we want to integrate it between the limits 0 and 4. The rule is first multiply and then integrate. I'm using the sign for integration and then plug in the limits. So there is an additional step over here. Let's multiply it out. 4 minus x multiplying with x plus 2. 4 into x is 4x. 4 into 2 is 8. Minus x into x is negative x square. And negative x into 2 is negative 2x. So 4x minus 2x is 2x. Minus x square plus 8. These are the terms that we obtain. So let's rewrite the term inside the brackets. The limits are still the same. The expression is 2x minus x square plus 8. Let's integrate each term individually. So 2x becomes 2x square over 2 minus sign as it is x square becomes x cube over 3. 8 becomes 8x and the limits are 0 and 4. Let's first do the simplification also which is simplifying the 2 and the 2 and now 4 will be plugged in wherever there is x. So this is 4 square minus 4 cube divided by 3 plus 8 multiplied by 4. Now let's plug in the lower limit which is 0 which will make all the 3 terms equal to 0. So therefore we are left with 16 minus 64 over 3 plus 32. 16 and 32 adds up to 48 minus 64 over 3. 64 over 3 can be written as 21 1 over 3. Let's double check 21 into 3 is 63 plus 1 which is 64. So this is perfect and this is 48. 
so 48 minus 21 one third that becomes 26 two third that is the value of this integral let's move to another question something that involves indices let's integrate this expression inside the bracket between the limits 1 and 4 the expression is 2x minus 3 root x plus 1 let's first write root x as x raised to power of half so this is 2x minus 3x raised to power of half plus 1 between the limits 1 and 4 the rule is the same first integrate each term individually and then plug in the limits so 2x becomes 2x square over 2 negative 3 remains as it is the power half is increased by 1 and we are dividing by the new power the term 1 becomes x and the limits are 1 and 4 simplify a bit on the inside the 2 and the 2 cancels off so this is x squared minus 3 half plus 1 is 3 over 2 division by 3 over 2 is multiplication by 2 third and x raised to power of 3 over 2 plus x between the same limits as before and now we can simplify this even further and we are left with the following terms so we have x square minus 2 x raised to power of 3 over 2 plus x between the limits 1 and 4 also remember the rule x raised to power of 3 over 2 can be written as x raised to power of 1 plus half that is x raised to power of 1 into x raised to power of half which is x root x so that is also a better way of writing it out so let me write one more step x square minus 2 x root x plus x between the limits 1 and 4 so now we are in a comfortable position of plugging in the limits let's plug in the upper limit first that is the rule 4 square minus 2 into 4 into root 4 plus 4 now it's time to plug in the lower limit which is 1 minus sign 1 square minus 2 into 1 into root 1 plus 1 and now we will evaluate it further so the, from the first expression we have 16 minus 2 into 4 into 2 that becomes 16 again plus 4 and from the other bracket this is 1 minus 2 plus 1 this simplifies to 0 this simplifies to 0 what are we left with we are left with a simple number which is 4 so that is the concept of evaluating a function between the limits a and b and this is known as definite integral what is the rule the rule is simple first integrate then plug in first we plug in the upper limit and then we plug in the lower limit and there is a minus sign between the two expression that's how a definite integral is evaluated hey there if you like what you saw right now head over to altacademy.org for access to content around six subjects with past papers, videos, revision guides, flashcards, and academic support. All of this is gonna make sure that you're completely set for your A-levels. So I'll see you there on the platform.